Make you talk a bit more excited. <laughs> like it's true, look, right? Like, like, like if you have to take a piss, you talk more excited. Yes facts. or no? No facts. There was one. There's one quiz. Remember that same math class we had? Which one? Um, uh, the one in grade eleven. Oh yeah, yeah data yeah. management. Yeah, and that one, that one on the exam, it took so long, but I need to take a shit, so I was like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to finish it so fast. Does and it make I, you smarter? Yeah. Oh, it might have. I say, does it make you? Because look, <clears throat> I'm I'm looking my best when I'm under pressure. Some people aren't like that, but I'm like that. Yeah. So, like under most pressure, mm -hmm. I pull some shit out of my ass and I just like clutch that shit. Yeah, I guess. Because I'm like that too, to a, an extent. Mm -hmm. Like if I really need to do something and like I'm told to do it, yeah, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, if I don't need to put the energy in, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to waste energy. Have you ever choked up in front of a girl though? Many times. That, oh, oh, many that, times. That's <laughs> many times. Oh, this was the craziest one. This was the craziest yeah, one. Yeah. So, oh my. So me and my boys... You know, back then, uh, what is it called? Omegle? Omegle, Omegle. 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 Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this, is, this is like two, <laughs> this is two years ago when I just got out. I'm back in the field now. I got over the breakup. So I've been with a girl. Oh, okay. So you're, I, you're looking. You're yeah, looking. Exactly. You're on the hunt. Exactly. So we, we're on Omegle for fun, right? Mm -hmm. The first girl comes up. And, and my boy's like, nah, raise her up, raise her up. All my boys are watching. Mm -hmm. There's like five guys in the, the <laughs> there's like five guys in the Discord call. So Yo. the girl comes on the screen, I'm like, holy fuck, she's she's like bad. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like, uh, how are you doing? And then she says, how are you doing back? I was like, I froze. I was like, fuck, I can't do this no more. I dead ass. I oh, like, really? I found, I was like, fuck, I can't do this. And, and I tried to skip. Yeah. I, but it, she didn't, it didn't skip. So I'm there. She's staring at me. Watch <laughs> Watching you me just have a panic eyes like yes. this. <laughs> Watching me have a breakdown and my shit's not Dog. skipping because like I don't know what happened. So I manually go and I skip her. But all my boys are like, yo, what happened, fam? Like, Bro, oh, why don't you just like slow it down? Nah. Like collect your thoughts, fam. <laughs> no, because Omega, it's different. Like that's where you build your game up. Mm. You feel me? Because we always used to do Omega runs. And as soon as like a girl come up, you don't know what's coming next. Mm -hmm. like like in real life you know you you can pick and choose who you go up to if you hit that skip button and a baddie comes up I, it's wraps like you have to lock in now yo but i think i think the real progression though yeah is not is not getting better at talking to hot girls it's just getting better at That's talking okay. to whoever yeah it, is is that is that mentality of like deleting the idea of pedestals and freaking yeah. what do you call it um um tears leagues deleting leagues yeah that's the biggest progression fam yeah. like once you can delete the leagues and then you think everybody's the same level yeah life is different yeah it, that's that's mostly just like you got to know your own worth because mm -hmm. as soon as i started getting my own like my own worth i stopped putting people on that pedestal yeah and i can finally talk to people like regularly everyone anyone mm. you know what do you think was the the kicker i had to go through that shit you had to go through that and and, and literally all those omega runs all that practice yeah like even just talking to a random guy in the elevator made me maybe nice at talking mm, that's you know true I mean? that's true just talking to more people talk. yeah. yeah that's what i did too fam exactly honestly i think if you can just practice talking literally every single day just a little bit oh my gosh the way you pronounce shit yeah the way like your brain works in the flow mm -hmm. the way you can pull some jokes out it just gets easier and you just get so good facts and that's what podcasting does, fam. I know, yeah. That's what but I, I, I need to work on my uh, supporter interactions. Yeah. Because I'm very awkward. Because after, um, oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Right? Yeah, ask them how their day's going. Yeah, like, I know, I know. Talk to them normal. <laughs> what DJ Khaled say? Talk to me normal. Talk to me <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me normal, bro. Well, when the girl was twerking? Yeah, yeah. She's pouring water. <laughs> Just talk to normal. I know, I know. Because I don't think I had a, a awkward fan interaction yeah. just because I treat them like as if they're my little cousins. Yeah. If they're younger than me. If okay. they're younger than me. True. But even sometimes I treat people my age like they're yeah. younger though. Is that bad? Mm, no, that's that's very good. I feel like because we're family, so it, even if you see us in the streets, it should be like family. No, like, is been is, it up. is thinking in my head? Mm. Is that an ego thing? Is that bad to to look at somebody, let's say, older than us or same age as us, and think of them as younger? Because is younger oh. mean less of you? Yeah, or not necessarily. No, it does. Younger does that, is that what it means? If you're sunning someone, you don't like respect them the same as an elder. So. Damn, no, but but, but, but it, it's good. But that's still respectful, no? If you can control it, I was gonna say, if you can control the respect level, mm -hmm. like you're not, you're not talking down, down on him, like you feel me? Yeah, I guess so. 
I guess so. Because imagine a, a young gun is schooling you on something. You're kind of like, oh, fuck, like, I, I should, like, step up my game type shit. But, and he's disrespecting you at the same time. Oh, that's where it gets You know what, though? It's just the perception of shit. Yeah. It's like, we. I think someone taught us, yo, you should be mad at that. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck? Why would I even be mad at that? Or why would somebody else get mad at that? Yeah. It's only because people teach us that shit. Exactly. Like, look, if, if we were... If we are brand new, put on this earth right now, mm-hmm. boom, and then we're just walking around just human flesh and just conversing, right? Yeah. There would be no idea and concepts of jealousy and like, oh, his his hair is nicer than ours because there's already a, a social norm of what's pretty, what's bad, what's yeah. ugly. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If the world was a reset, how different do you think the world would be? Do you think it would be better? Loki, it might be. Mm, I don't know like a reset like everything do you think do you think we're we're oh fuck this is kind of like a hot take yeah but do you think society's already fucked and we just need to reset that shit like yo reset your minds fam Mm. no i don't think so that's on some like totalitarian is that the word no you can take a mindset no you can't because that's some like 18 1984 shit right like trying to change everybody's minds oh oh why did i think about this but it's like a weird take on what you're saying. Yeah. So you said if the world resets, everything will be better, right? Mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna kind of take it into a dark. Like, yeah. Thing, go ahead. Right? Go ahead. That's so, where we want to take it, fam. No, but okay. I'm not gonna say the word, but so right now society is shit. Yeah. Right. But after rain, there's always sunshine, right? Mm-hmm. So why, why like re- reset and just give up on everything rather than working out your problems and soon the society will get better. Like, we have to work on it, right? Mm -hmm. So, take it into a dark perspective, say, committing S, right? Committing what, sorry? Committing S, fam. Oh, oh, you you mean like, yeah, if you want to offing yourself? Yeah, so you're saying you have all these problems right now and you want to reset, boom. That's not, that's not good, right? You you don't, you don't. Okay, I'm not saying that. I know, I I just just took it to a good term. Oh, okay. But it makes sense because if you want to reset everything, boom, you're going to have to kill off everything right and mm. reset everything instead of doing that you battle through that shit as a society yeah, and make yeah, shit yeah, yeah. better because every bro it's not gonna everything like it's not always gonna be bad like like i said it's mm-hmm. gonna that's be, true i agree i agree be better you gotta have like a like a good outlook on it exactly like you can still change that shit of course and but, you can but i think that we, there's like this um there's this culture of trying to outwoke each other and and like if you, if you're not as woke as this, then you're not like this. You and know what I mean? Who started it? Who started it? <laughs> and who's a part of it? I, we're not a part of that. What are you talking about? Look, look, we talk about woke shit, but doesn't mean like if you're not woke, you're you're listen, whack. Listen, like, we're like, not saying that listen, shit. Like, like I was telling you before, fam. Like I I've got into like the rabbit hole of shit mm. and, and thinking, and it, I love it. I love that I'm more open minded now. Yeah, yeah. But you know how I'm a person who like is very easily winded by uh different stuff and different stuff. So I see once I go down this rabbit hole, that shit is scary to me. Like I I literally sat in my bed and I was like, fuck man, I don't even want to do this theory shit. Damn. No more. <laughs> like bro, I literally like I, as soon as I got into the Kanye, the Balenciaga shit, like I was like, nah. Cause now your mind's changed. Yeah, because now my mind's and changed. And then you see everything. Yeah, and I'm reading comments mm-hmm. and saying Oh, blah blah blah. Kanye is never cut. This year, this all the, and I'm getting mad. Like yeah. I would before, I would never get mad at this shit because I didn't believe that shit is true. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, oh, I see it. And because I'm, your mind is, is yeah. And, and, and listen, listen. You know why I got sad? Yeah. Because I was like, I don't want to be that that guy who ends up on the streets preaching like blah 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 and sounds crazy. Like I didn't want to end up like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Of course not. Yeah. No, nobody's gonna end up like that, bro. I know, but that shit was scary. But what happens when the whole world is like that? I feel like that's bad. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, yeah. let's not talk about that no more, but I want to talk okay. about this. So just recently, it kind of ties in. Okay. Just recently, I watched uh, Knives Out 2, right? Okay, what is that? Bro, so Knives Out 2, it's pretty much like a murder mystery movie. Mm. And there's this, okay. There's this um billionaire. Yeah. And he has a mansion. Inside his mansion, he has a bunch of like art relics. He has the Mona Lisa. Yeah. He literally bought the Mona Lisa, Oops. put it, put that shit in his house. He has some crystals and stuff, whatever. <laughs> but there's this one mural mm-hmm. in his house, like right in front of the dining table. Yeah. And it's of somebody of great importance. I guess you would say great importance. Ooh. What's crazy though in the trailer and in all the media press and all of the articles, uh-huh. that mural covers the face of who it is. What Take is a it? wild guess who this is, bro. I'm gonna show you the pic. Kanye West. Take a wild guess. Who's the mural? 
Is that Yay? <laughs> what the hell? That's Yay, that's bro. Black, that's Black Jesus or something? Look, oh. look how he. So he's painted. He's painted almost as if he's like a prophet. What the fuck? Yeah. And this is like a billionaire, right? Yeah. Now, I don't want to spoil the movie, but pretty much what happens, this billionaire, he's not right in the head. He's yeah. a little bit more uh, out there mm -hmm. and he does some malicious things to his attendants at his house, yeah. at his home, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, in one scene specifically, mm. and it's kind of like a deep scene because because I'm I'm a, a film yeah, critic, you know, type yeah. of. So you're gonna. I watch. break that shit down. Yeah. There's this one scene where he sat sits back and keep in mind, fuck, I can't even spoil it. Don't spoiler it. alert! Spoiler <laughs> alert! Ready? Okay. Spoiler alert! Fuck! I should I should get done. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that. I don't even know if I say that. That's a big spoiler. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so. See his uh, what do you call it? His his position, what he's doing with his hands. Yeah. He's holding something and he has a a glass in the air. Mm -hmm. So this character, what does he do? Stands right in front of it and does one of these. Now the character in the movie, yeah. Fuck, I don't want to spoil. He's not a good guy. Do you think that's on purpose? Do you think is this a recent movie? Yeah, they. This is this movie was literally made like last year, two years ago. What the that's fuck? Crazy, that's bad. That's bad. right? That's so bad. That's like, so why, bad. why, why? Why would they specifically put his face on the on the mural? Very interesting. That's crazy. That's very interesting, Gavin. Like, yeah, no, but it, it makes sense. Like, yay as a prophet, because look what he's doing now, fam. He's literally battling that shit by himself, like, yeah. standing on his toes. Mm -hmm. type shit. Mm -hmm. And and you know how we said about um how movies portray the future? Yeah. Fam, look. Do you think it? Oh, fuck. This guy, he's kind of like an Elon Musk, too. Fam, no, I, I truly believe that that <laughs> shit is going to become whatever true. Yeah, fuck. But you, oh, wait, you said the Ye was doing the. the, the yeah, the yeah, yeah. He's doing like oh. this thing. And then also the the guy himself. Wait, ended so up doing Ye the same. ends up as a. I don't know. I don't know. Like, who knows? Who knows what yeah. that means? Who knows what that means? Okay. Okay. But, anyways, um, there's another, there's another like celebrity thing I want to talk about. All right, bet. So. This has been going viral lately. You you know uh, Kai, the streamer. Yeah. Well, yeah, so Kai, right. he had Blueface on. Oh, yeah, with Krishan. Yeah. <laughs> that shit pissed me off, man. K Krishan, right? Yeah, Krishan? Krishan, yeah. So a lot of people are like, yo, why is Blueface with Krishan? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to say nothing myself, but I'm just going to say what a lot of people were telling me and oh, what I've just, seen on the internet, right? Yeah. Is like, there's a theory. Yeah. The reason Blueface is actually with her mm -hmm. isn't necessarily because he's so in love with her, he's so infatuated with her, of and course. it's a good relationship. Because yeah. there is some things that happened in the past that show it's not a great relationship. Because yep. a lot of you guys don't know, but did you know mm -hmm. Blueface actually assaulted her? Yeah. And there's video proof. She actually went on social media showing her face, yeah. this and that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the theory is... The reason she's still with him okay. and he's still with her yeah. is because he can't leave her. She's not going to let him leave her because she's going to go to the police. Yep. And yeah, I was just going to say that. I'll add on to that. Mm -hmm. Blueface, uh, allegedly, this is what I heard, Yeah, shot, a f uh, shot like five people. Damn. And Krishan was a witness. Mm. So if Blueface leaves... Krishan, what do you think Krishan's gonna yeah. do? Yeah. Fam, the relationship doesn't even look like healthy. Like it's not I good. Know, bro. That shit is talk. That's that's a typical toxic relationship. Yeah, yeah that's true. Go like, on. I mean, if you guys look at it and look into it yourself, there's something going on there. I don't know. It's not an act. It's not 100%. an act. You can look back at what Krishan was before. Yeah. Top athlete at the school, top track runner. She was on uh, Gladiator, I think. Mm. Uh the she was doing all this like active stuff. Now Every time I see her, it's either she's messy drunk with blue face yeah. or she's like in some type of drama. I know, bro. And it's sad to see something like that because yeah. it's like now it's plastered all over social media and people yeah. look into it. Yeah. yeah so it's it's everyone's business now, yeah. you know? And I hate how they're getting praised the most. You can definitely tell how they fit the agenda of toxic in this era. Cause this oh, time, fam, that's a good point. We're not looking. We're not looking for no uh, lovey dovey couple shit no more. Yo, we're looking at yo, hot take, hot take right now. Yeah, name me, name me a celebrity couple that's that's promoted, that's in good hands. In good hands, kind of promoted. The only one I can say is Dirk in India. Okay, 
but but that's yeah, yeah, yeah. barely that's that's because we're going out of our way because people are going out of their way yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but like commercial wise and shit <laughs> no. is there even no one bro. is there even because the tabloids ain't filled with that stuff I promise you they're not the tabloids ain't filled with with uh the the goody <laughs> stuff you know what i mean the positive energy stuff why, why would they do that when, when drake drake right now literally dropped the most toxic three albums in a yo. row and now they're they, come on man like we're we're getting more toxic yo you know what's crazy what? so there's a theory you know 2016 right there's actually a theory about why 2016 was such a good year why why oh good year yeah such a good think about it every so ask anybody much. ask anybody everyone's like yo 2016 <laughs> such a good year 2016 such a good year right yeah all right remember double xl oh what's the best double xl 2016 can't beat it, right man. come on can't beat that. little uzi little yachty blah you guys already know 21 savage <laughs> anyways the theory is yeah. the reason the energy and the vibes and everything that happened that year was so good yeah. was literally because of the music we were listening to oh. had a high frequency yep. and it was good energy. And they're talking about things that were fun, mm. that were positive. They weren't violent. Mm -hmm. Maybe you had like 21 Savage in the cut sometimes, but, but listen to like, look, Lil Yachty. Remember when he was going crazy with Dram? Yeah. You know what I mean? Broccoli? Oh my goodness. Exactly. And and a, there was a girl on TikTok. She she made a really good point. If you think back at that time, who who was still popping? Like Tyga and stuff, you know? And what were they talking about? They were talking about club songs. What were the club songs? Um, Yo, the club songs were all upbeat. They're just talking about like fucking yeah. having money, having fun, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now you go to the club, what are they talking about? Drugs, sex, money. You're talking about pulling bullets in, in your ops, bro. What drugs, the fuck? Drugs, sex, money, man. That's Yo, we're it. turning up to putting bullets in our ops. That's fuck. But dude, that's, that's crazy. It's going down. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's timber. Timber. yeah, that type of shit. That type of shit, oh, right? Facts. But that's... now we're talking, we're literally talking about people bleeding in the streets, mm -hmm. right? And we're, we're turning up and drinking to that. That's so true. What do you think is going to happen to our frequency? What do you think is going to happen to... Every, the population as a whole. Yeah. What happened? And what happened? This is true. What happened? What? We're, we're fucked up now? Violence. Mm. Right? Yeah. Crime has risen mm. a lot. Yeah. Like, this is real stats. You can look at the years before and Facts. the years now. Do you think it directly is impacted by music? That, and that's scary to think because it's like, oh, now they don't even have to control us by this. They can just change up what we listen to mm. now. And that will trigger our body for some reason. It's crazy. So it's like, do we start listening to... Um, yo, because look, <laughs> if... If I know, um, if I talk to a, a person who never listens to rap, only listens to like Taylor Swift, yeah, they're probably like the most drama free, like positive person. Yeah, yeah sometimes. Yeah. Or you think, if you talk to somebody that's like super artsy, what do they listen to? And are, usually artsy people, they're not really like they're not dramatic or like get into problems, right? Yeah. They're they're usually in their own a zen mode yeah and what are they listening to they're listening to like what steve lacy mm -hmm. yeah and if we <laughs> tame impala tame impala steve lacy you have no you have no problem you know I mean? like y'all like, y'all are y'all are living bro like y'all smoke a j and then just like and, paint <laughs> and you know what's crazy too it's it's crazy that that rap has you know how it's uh, it's usually in um certain type of neighborhoods mm -hmm. but you get that uh what you see now is like all the people in the suburbs talking about ops talking about shooting someone like yeah like these, everybody like, wants these to these look up to that Catholic, no. like these kids that's fam that's how you know it's working because you know how gucci you said they're catering to the rich people yeah and the poor people so that's how they get them mm. Fam, what do you think rap is doing they have that per that people and the other people that don't even live that life or that lifestyle and yeah now and then now they're looking at that lifestyle and they, they can yeah. get involved and and they're gonna get like killed fam i know bro but that's how it is fam like whenever something if you even if you look at this is kind of bad too but i yeah. love film yeah. but if you even look at, at film yeah if, if you're looking if you're looking at movies that are super violent mm -hmm. you know what i mean sometimes you might it might make you a little bit more violent. Yeah, Who knows? Exactly. Who knows? But it is. I'm not. I'm gonna say this. It is very much up to that person. Yeah. And their maturity and knowing that they can listen to it, they can consume that content without being, you know, yeah. reckless. I know. And that's really important. I think that's just a message I want to spread right now. Is yo, you everyone watch. Everyone's free to watch shit. Like mm -hmm. enjoy, enjoy everything. Yeah. But just keep in the back of your head, like maybe some things aren't the best for me. I know, yeah, and they'll and they'll put it right in front of your guys' face. Yeah, remember you asked me uh, before why they do it. 
Mm. It's because um uh, the karma. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I you karma. saw that TikTok too. Yeah. So I seen that um these satanic groups have something called I think uh it's something about karma and how say put in scenario you feed someone water mm -hmm. and it's poison in it and you give it to them mm -hmm. and they drink it. That's bad, and th there's gonna be karma on you. Mm -hmm. But because you didn't tell them, because you didn't tell them. Yeah. But if you say, "Oh, I poisoned it before you before," or give like a subliminal hint, yeah, and they drink it, there's no karma. Yeah, on you. yo, and this is the crazy part. This is the crazy part. <laughs> yeah, Lil Uzi. Oh my oh, god, oh my bro! Goodness. Yeah, I finally. This noticed. is so sad, fam. But like. <clears throat> Yo, remember Lil Uzi was on stage like, y'all heard a million times. Yeah. Like, y'all are going with me. Yeah. Oh, my God. I hate how that's I, I, Look into that video, the Lil Uzi on stage. Like, he's saying, he was pretty much saying, like, y'all are all going to hell because yeah. you listen to this song. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. And, and, like, everyone's like, what the fuck? Yeah, but what happened after? Everybody's just still turning up. Yeah. Shit, I played that song a couple times afterward. Oh, yeah, and that's kind of sure. fucked, too. Yeah. Like, you just got to, like, protect yourself. I know, I mean? exactly. You got to protect yourself. And, and the craziest one I've seen, like, this is, like, in front of our face. Like, I don't know if you saw Ellen the Generous at the Grammys. Mm -hmm. When she's handing out pizza, right? Oh, that's false. So, so I don't I know if you that. guys if you guys heard about um what Jeffrey I'm Epstein's Epstein. island, right? Yeah, and there was people accused of it, and Ellen brought in a pizza guy, and whoever she gave pizza or called out mm -hmm. was supposedly at the island. So she you know give, why? Because why? because the code word for for uh, oh shit, I don't know how to say it. The code word for having sexual stuff with is pizza is pizza no yeah that's the word and and they call it the code word is actually pizza gate yeah oh, i heard pizza yeah that's gate. what it is oh what the fuck? so yeah going to back where you're saying was handing it out to celebrities the celebrities she was handing it out to were the ones she remembers that indulged in pizza yeah oh, yeah because why would she randomly called out harvey yeah, Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. You know why? You know why? Yeah, because she was, she was accused, fam. Harvey Weinstein, he was literally charged with freaking uh, assaulting his actresses. Yeah. Like getting young actresses and telling them, oh, I can make you famous. I can make yeah. you famous. This and that. Holy and sick. you know what's crazy about Harvey Weinstein, though? Why? Did you know he has a really fucked up penis? Huh? <laughs> yeah, dead ass. Talk about pause. Pause, pause, hey, pause. Yo. Pause, pause, pause. You did research on that, my boy? No, no, no. I heard this on Joe Rogan, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, so pause, okay, pause, okay. pause. No, no, no. But Harvey Weinstein, yeah. his his piece is actually messed up. Like, he has, like, a, like an ogre piece. Oh, nah. No, listen. <laughs> what I mean by that, I think he has, like... I forgot what the what the disease is, uh -huh. but it's... You can imagine freaking, um, like, an ogre. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know how to explain it, like... I think it's gangrene. Is it gangrene? Yeah. Let me show you a picture of it. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> it's green. That shit is black. <laughs> Let me show you a picture of what this shit is, though. <laughs> they, you'll get an idea. Losing. Some shit like Losing. that. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't know exactly if it's that, but Google, you guys can Google it for yourselves. Yeah, but what if, bro? Yeah. The theory is what if that that was a punishment by God? That was a punishment. That's his karma because he's been doing that. Well, thank God for doing that. You know what I mean? Like he's yeah. like, yo, you keep you keep doing this evil shit to, yeah. to people. Let me give you this, yo. Oh my goodness. And then now, like when he whips it out, that shit looks. And what you the can't fuck? do it no more with no one. Exactly. No, thank God. Thank God that. You know what I mean, God yeah. works in mysterious ways, yeah. though. That, that that's. Uh, did you watch the Jeffrey uh, Dahmer one? No. Nah. So the the last the last episode is my God is a revengeful God, and this whole guy was. He, he's a cat. He's, I think he was had a close relationship with God. Yeah. And you know how God says, always turn the other cheek. Mm -hmm. And one of the last scenes, where I'm, I'm going to spoil it because I'm pretty sure everyone saw it. Jeffrey was left in that prison cell with him now. Oh, so, shit. Oh. And, and the whole time, Jeffrey was making fun of these dudes. He's like, yeah, I'm, I get fan mail. I get fan mail. I love doing this shit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So he's finally like, Oh, I had a I had a uh, talk with God yesterday, and my God is a revengeful God, and he Yo. he took the the weight, slammed it on. Damn, he did everything, and and that's what that's what happened at the end. Like that's how he died, and he killed Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, and and I mean, it, sorry, I'm sorry, Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. He killed Jeffrey and, Dahmer. And in that moment, you're like, oh, like you finally just like you kind of thank God for doing that, but it's like it's 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 kind of sick. It's kind of sick, sick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to. You don't want to do it to that, but he's so bad that you want to do it with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of true. I feel you. Yeah, it, it, it's that type of thing. It's like when when somebody's evil, would you want evil done to them? 
Because oh, it's, it's kind of like they they ask for it, but yeah, you know, like I wouldn't want to be the one to do it. You know, exactly. you don't wish death. Yeah, on you don't. No one. You don't wish nothing on nobody like that. Because, yeah. but still, it's weird how that stuff comes yeah, back around. You know, <laughs> See, it's, that's no. why y'all just be good, yeah, man. Just like, be good. <laughs> just be good. Just <laughs> don't do, don't do evil shit. That's that's it. A lie. Don't have evil thoughts. Don't do evil <laughs> shit. Yeah, period. Man. If you subscribe, you are a hundred percent guaranteed good karma for the rest of your life. <laughs> Guys, it's all about confidence when it's time for sex, am I right? And what's a better confidence booster than a fun round with the partner, all courtesy of the Chewables from BlueChew.com? What's BlueChew.com? BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. And now they also have Vardenafil mint flavored chewables with the active ingredient in Levitra and Staxin, so you can stay hard and fresh. BlueChew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger, erections to combat all forms of ed blue chew is an online prescription service so no visits to the doctor's office no awkward conversations and no waiting in line at the pharmacy and it ships right to your door in a discreet package the process is simple sign up at bluechew.com consult with one of their licensed medical providers and once you're approved you'll receive your prescription within days the best part it's all done online blue chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription don't like swallowing pills no problems here. Blue Chew's Sildenafil and Tadatafil tablets are chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship directly so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And don't forget to use the special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com promo code JUMPERS to receive your first month free 2000 2008 2022 when it comes to the economy there are some scary years dot-com crash housing crash and the roller coaster we're going through right now one thing is certain it's a dangerous time to not know your numbers but over 31,000 businesses have the confidence and the clarity they need because they rely on NetSuite by Oracle the number one cloud financial system as a business owner it's always best to get the help you need and make your job easier NetSuite gives you the visibility and control of your financial inventory HR planning and budgeting so you can manage risk get reliable forecast and improve margins everything you need all in one place so how do you prepare for uncertain times the answer is NetSuite NetSuite helps you identify rising costs to automate your business processes and easily see where to save money that's why 93% of customers say they've improved their visibility and control when they upgraded to NetSuite so what are you waiting for right now NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind special financing program head to netsuite.com jumpers right now netsuite.com slash jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s netsuite.com slash jumpers all right i have a, I have a crazy question for you because this one came from the discord i just want to okay yeah i just want to see what you have to say mm. i don't think there's an answer to it but what? okay if a ai generated art right mm -hmm. or generated like a video a piece of content whatever it may be yeah and it's offensive who's to blame <laughs> Think about that. Mm. Who are you gonna cancel? Who are you gonna cancel? You can't cancel AI. <laughs> That's already. Think about that. Think about that shit. So like, if if AI, mm. gen let's say you just put in, let's say you just typed in something random, right? Yeah. Just something realistic, blah 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 blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and then AI created a very offensive image. Yeah. Who's to blame? See, first, obviously, I would say AI. But why? But because it, it generated that picture. No, but the AI is just generating what reality is. Oh, oh. think about that. Wait, but, but is there a person typing in what to... No, because the person ju will just code it to take from everything. Okay. You get me? So it's literally just like what the world is. Oh, okay. And then what shows up. Yeah. You get me? So if, if you type something in uh -huh. and it pops up something offensive, who's to blame? Do you blame... <laughs> See, see, I That's think crazy, two, right? There's three people that you can blame. Who? AI, the guy who made that AI. The that, person that typed it in? The person that typed it in. I don't think so. Or society in general. So if, if you blame society in general, yeah. is it even offensive anymore? Because if... It's not. <laughs> exactly. Because it, it's like what, what Connie said. If there's a marathon and everyone believes it, then 
It's it's true. Now it's like a paradox. It's right? a paradox. Yeah. Yo, think about that shit. Wait. So, oh. Also, I had another mind blowing moment. Yeah. So I was thinking, right? Mm-hmm. You know how every single time we let's say we think of a, a crazy character. Yeah. Or let's say you're you're drawing a picture. Mm-hmm. And then let's say you create that character. Oh, this person has like a, a family. This person has a job, blah, blah. This is what they do, right? Yeah. Now going back to the generation of AI, mm-hmm. what if every single time you generate something like that, okay. it creates a universe in itself? Cause the way I see things mm-hmm. is what if Every time you think of something of me, right? Yeah. Let's say you think, oh, one day Carlos is going to drive a fancy car. Okay. What if you created a reality where I did have that car? What if every single perception Uh of somebody onto another person, they create a different reality and that's a reality that could be, that could come true. So it's like um, manifesting through computers. Yeah. What if it's manifesting? Now, Mm. what if... You did that to like a whole population of people. Okay. Would the manifestation be more powerful? So if I convince the whole world mm-hmm. that one day I'm going to have this yellow Lambo, y'all will see me in this yellow Lambo, but I convinced everybody oh. and then in their head, they visualize it. Oh. They see it in their brain. What's going to happen? That, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Cause if you do it yourself, right? You're creating mm-hmm. one dimension. You're putting that one dimension in the yeah. But fam, if you have if you have 50, millions of people, then then there's a higher chance. It's like percentage. Mm-hmm. Like you get fit mo- way more percents of dimensions. Like for you to jump in. Yeah. You know? So we already know manifesting is real. Yeah. Is there a way to make the whole world manifest for you? Think about that. It's f- for you. Think about that. You and do you think. There's anybody taking advantage of that right now? Taking advantage. <laughs> Who do you think? Do you think there's a person? No, like, but I think personally, whenever a fighter comes up or whenever like somebody super famous or yeah. somebody, they uh, what do they always say? They always say, I'm going to be the greatest. I'm going to do this. I'm going to accomplish this. They say it out loud, right? Mm-hmm. Now, when you say it out loud, there's a lot of people that would hate. Sure. Yeah. But the people that do they would create that reality in their head and they would see it, right? Yeah, Bro, I think about it, like, look at Conor McGregor. He said, oh, I'm going to knock him out second round. What happened? Oh, fuck, second round, he knocked him out. No, no, he predicts a lot of shit. He predicted a lot of shit. But what if, because we were listening and we visualized it, we manifested it for him. Yeah. So he, like, used us to actually make his reality. Yeah, that's (laughs) fucked. No, because, like, that's, like, um, in NBA championships, like, say, say the Golden State Warriors are... Mm -hmm. have the craziest fan base everyone in the bay loves the warriors yeah you know how much people every day they go in with manifestation to win the game Mm. it doesn't even matter on the players if you guys believe in that shit shit the team might win yeah and um there was this viral tiktok of this girl yeah and pretty much she was saying that her mother used to date bruce willis okay and she said her mother said she knew even though Bruce Willis was poor, even though he was he had nothing going for him at the time, yeah, she knew he was gonna be famous because he had this undeniable belief yeah. in his head that he would be and that he would be successful and that he would be in all these movies. And that faith alone brought him to what he was. Nah, you need that shit because I feel like it's just a it's a domino effect. So yeah. say like, so you're starting off uh, with your guys' business or your guys' ideas and your big dream, right? Mm-hmm. So you guys only have yourself, right? So once you crack into that dimension and you get more of your, your guys' fans and you guys build your fan base, what are your fans doing with you too? They're all manifesting success for you. That's why it keeps building. Yeah. Once you get on that roll, you can't stop. You can't stop going up because you have more and more people believing in you. Because mm-hmm. you only start with one, but you just have to break that one wall. That what you have to jump in that one dimension, and you're blessed. Exactly. That, yeah. That's crazy. That's what that's we true. did. We only had two. We mm-hmm. like we started with ourselves, but we knew. I remember you told me, "Don't worry, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit a million. <laughs> yeah, I told you. It just it's just when we're gonna hit a million. <laughs> it's just when. It's yeah. just when. Literally. And that's all we needed. Just just. Two people with a hundred percent belief that we're gonna do it, mm-hmm. and it got me thinking. Like, what if a bunch of these things, all of these, like, um, I guess, magic of the world, yeah, magical things of the world, mm-hmm. whether it be a uh, Bermuda Triangle, oh, okay, B- Bermuda Triangle, for example, yeah, there's actually a theory on that. Oh, what is it? So 
there's a theory yeah. that the Bermuda Triangle, you know what it is? It's that little triangle. Well, it's a big triangle, <laughs> sorry. In Bermuda. Where everyone gets lost. If they travel onto or they enter this this area, they go missing. Back. People say they travel to a next dimension. Just something happens and they just go missing. Mm -hmm. The theory is yeah. crystals. What? Yeah. So What does it have to do with crystals? There is a theory that there's crystals underneath or a giant amount of crystals oh. underneath the Bermuda Triangle specifically. Oh, no. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. It's crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that shit, no, that's why. So this is this is actually real. Yeah. If you take a crystal and you use, um, there's like a electromagnetic uh, reader. Mm -hmm. It can pick up different frequencies depending on which crystal is there. And like it has different sets of powers. Yeah. Now, the reason people like take crystals and use it for their powers and blah, 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 is because they believe they can use that to channel like different energies, different frequency, right? Oh, really? What if like the natural formation there mm -hmm. just so happen, it's a lot. And what happens with that, it kind of conflicts with our freaking reality. Yeah. And that's why all this weird shit happens. That's why planes go missing. That's why people go missing on boats. And that's why it became the Bermuda Triangle. What if that area is just specifically surrounded by freaking crystals, bro? Yeah. So it's a hundred. But is it a hundred percent that actual people go missing? Yeah. Like they never like came back. That's what it is, bro. That's what it is. So where the fuck do they go? Nobody knows. So no, but I'm thinking like if we just send someone to dig up these crystals, then we're blessed. But that person might disappear too. Who knows if it's true? This is just like yeah. a theory though. This yeah. is just a theory. No, that's why I'm, I'm, yeah. to, you know I mean? I'm mm -hmm. trying to get to the bottom. Of it. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but um, there, there's a movie I watch that's kind of similar to this. Okay, what is it? So you ever watch the movie Old? Old? Yeah, you ever no. watch that movie? Yo, you don't watch that no, one? What's with you in movies with like one one word titles? <laughs> Damn, these movies are the most fucking interesting. I swear okay, to God. Let me hear it. All hear. right, this one has a crazy plot. Okay. So pretty much there's this family. Mm. They go on vacation. I forgot exactly where they went, but it was a tropical island. Okay. And pretty much they were taking a tour with a bunch of different people. Okay. They ended up going to this private beach and this guy dropped them off in a big like a... Uh, it's kind of like a coach bus. Yeah. Bring everyone along with you. Yeah. When they got there, they're having fun, blah, blah, blah. And they noticed something. Mm. They noticed. And something in the water. Oh, fuck. And they see a body. Floating there? Yeah. And what's crazy is this body that they seen, yeah. it's of a person that was younger before. What the fuck? So what what happens is like people on that beach, they start aging at a crazy speed. Whoa. So there was these two kids, right? Part of the family that they went on vacation with. Mm -hmm. They went and walked away into like a cave, a cavern nearby the beach where they were all playing. Mm -hmm. When they came back, they walked back and they were teenagers. They were old. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, so something happened. I guess the, the plot of the movie, there's certain things in the rocks that change frequency oh, no. and make them age faster than anywhere else in the world. What the fuck? And what's crazy is the kids, they returned as teenagers and the parents were freaking out like, what the fuck happened? What yeah, happened, right? obviously. And they realize if they try to escape, they, they go through this like, um, it's kind of like a, a little hallway of rocks, right? Yeah. They can't make it through because it, it hurts their head and like it makes them pass out. So none of them are able to leave. Yeah, so none of them are stuck. able, they're stuck there, right? Now everybody's just there like getting older and older. And a lot of them, bro, they start, they start having health conditions. Because yeah. as you get older, what happens? Yeah. Like you can get like bad lungs, yeah, you can so get like dementia whatever it may be mm. bro a lot of these people they started having really really bad medical conditions and they started dying because they got older right now this is fucked too yeah the the two teenagers they walked away and they were playing they went missing again the parents were waiting and they're talking like yo where's the kids what happened to what happened to them Fuck. they walk back mm. with a baby huh they walk back with a baby bro so How the girl the girl got pregnant and then gave birth to a baby. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so and this is where it's okay, this is where it gets sad, but oh, no. the baby couldn't survive. Yeah. Because no, it was growing so fast. 
and oh. it, it wasn't able to to keep up it, and, th- and this was away. like a th- an island right yeah they were all stuck on this island that sucks and the plot twist fam this yeah. is what's crazy the whole time right yeah they noticed there was binoculars looking at them there was like deep 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 That's there's like creepy. a person on on the hill like looking at them and observing them right mm. now the twist was they were actually sent to that island all because they each have a different medical condition okay now this is crazy right yeah when they were at the resort mm-hmm. and they were getting drinks yeah they put medicine in their drinks to give them okay now every single person had a different medication and a different drink yeah now when they were on the island everybody started dying because of the medical conditions one person their medical condition didn't show up and what it was this whole thing was an elaborate scheme mm-hmm. from a pharmaceutical company no way. to test medicine wow. to test medicine at a fast rate because they can see how it affects them as they grow older what the fuck yeah wait so how so where does the where does the the water aging water come from like no this is like just this is type of bermuda triangle oh so so the people knew that that water ages so they put yeah they 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 specifically took like a group of people without telling them that have these medical conditions trap them there and then use them as guinea pigs to test their medicine that is that's crazy i wish i watched that and i told that to you (laughs) because now i know the whole plot so i can enjoy it no No, it's good though it's good like you can still watch i left a lot of stuff out i left a lot i didn't i didn't spoil the ending is it like um Wait, why did they go in the water in the first place? They were just enjoying vacation. No, there's just there's a beach, bro. It's just a beach. And so, so after they came up and they the parents knew they're old. Why did the parents go in the water? No, it's not the water that made them old. It's literally the whole beach, fam. Oh, so you're just staying on the island. Yeah, just staying on the island makes you old, makes you old bro. <laughs> yeah, and I think like certain areas are more potent, and then it ages them faster. Oh, nah. so when the kids went to go to like the cavern, <laughs> yeah, like they age way way faster than. Everybody That's scary. Else. See, if I was if I was in the island, I would start populating right away. <laughs> no, 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 like how the guy, the girl came back with a baby. I'm telling everyone, stay in that water. We're all making babies, and then throw the babies back in the water so they age. They create more babies, and then they're watching me. They're watching me like, what the fuck is going on? They're like, what the fuck is Bro. going on? And and they're gonna see like the medicine's not gonna work because we populated already. <laughs> And, and it's just gonna keep going. You feel me? I broke that shit down. Dab me up. Yes, sir. Yo. But that would make sense, though. Am I not wrong? This guy's spawning in like Minecraft, like with the eggs and shit. <laughs> Fam, that makes sense. Because if they're trying to test, like, oh, they're trying to kill us, you can't kill us if we keep populating. Bro's playing creative mode. <laughs> I outsmarted that shit. No, but but on a real, I think I heard that story, but in a real life situation. No way. I swear, it's, it's, so, I read this before I came here. It's like, let me know if you know in the comment. Something B experiment. What is that? So what is that? I think it happened in, um, I think it's Croatia. L- let me know. And they were testing how if a war ever happened, they were, they were going to see how people could react without being with their families and how they could survive on barely food and any water. Oh, so this, shit, was, yeah. this was on Reddit, I read. And what they did was they simulated a chemical warfare, right? Mm-hmm. And they put all these, I think it was 15 people, these test, these test dummies, yeah. in the back of a truck with no food, no water. Mm. And to simulate it, they told these people, oh, your family didn't make it through the war. Your family, you, your your brother, he died. I'm sorry. Damn. So they they literally emotionally and physically put them like yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in like a- They a stressed them out. Yeah. Exactly. And this was, I think uh, it ended because their medicines didn't work and they were all just left like dead. Damn. So yeah, I think that that's literally how that is. So it was all just like a test to see- It was just a test. And they were just like observing them? Yeah. Oh. This is all just for how people would survive in a warfare, like a chemical warfare, and they would have to stay in like a building. Damn. See, yeah. the problem I have with that too mm-hmm. is the people that are in charge of it they wouldn't would. do it themselves. Yeah. If it was themselves that are doing it and they're doing the test themselves, <laughs> then shit, go ahead. Yeah. But they're literally take if you're taking innocent people, yeah. especially against their own will, that's fucked up. Bro. If you if you want to know if anything is very sketchy, you and someone asks you a question, oh, you want to try this hot chip? You do it first. <laughs> and and if, if, if he doesn't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> it's simple as that. It's simple as that. Oh, yeah, here. I have, I have something for you to try, actually. What is that? Oh, I have, I have something for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So <laughs> I scoured 
the I universe have, for fucking Dunkaroos, bro. I have that in my closet. In my you have it right now? Yeah. They don't have it at Walmart right now, do they? My mom ha- like has like what buckets. The fuck? Yo, did you know they sell? So t- check this out. Yeah. You know Showcase in, in, in the mall? Yeah, yeah. They sell all like the exotic snacks. Uh-huh. They're selling Dunkaroos <laughs> $5 for one of this. Yeah. That's $5. Yeah. Right? Where did she get your Dunkaroos? I don't know. But but she came home one day. I was like, what the fuck? Where'd you get those? And she had like five boxes. Oh, okay. Somebody from the States probably brought it. Because you can still get them from the States. Oh, okay. But I'm pretty sure she got that for either from a, a grocery store chain. What? So I could why, call are they, why are they charging $5? I could, call, I could call her right now if you want. Okay. Anyways, they were charging $5. So I'm like, yeah. no way. I'm <laughs> spending $5. I really want to try Dunkaroos again. So wait, you had them? You tried them already? And it's shit. I don't know why. Is trash. It sh- it's trash. trash. It's trash. It's trash. I don't know why, but I guess they changed up the formula. They did. They changed it. Look yeah. at this. Hold on. I'm going to open it up. Damn, you're going to open up? Look at this. That shit is so ass. Look at this. <laughs> they changed the cookie. It's like white. It's like a sugar cookie. What the fuck is this? <laughs> and the frosting? This shit breaks my heart. This literally breaks my heart. The frosting's all right. The frosting's all right. It's all right. I, th- I think the frosting's kind of the same. Uh-huh. Let me taste it again. <laughs> Taste that. <laughs> the 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 icing's different. It's kind of the same, but this it's this a is a no go. This is a no go. The cookie used to be kind of spicy. <laughs> I swear spicy. to God, it used to be spicy. Nah, I don't. I don't remember. Yo, spicy. leave down in the comments if Dunkaroos used to taste spicy. They used to taste spicy. Spice? Nah. To be honest, I think Dunkaroos though is one of the most over- overrated. I think because everyone wants it to be S tier, but it's that it has just like A tier. That's S tier. You're I don't tripping. Think so. You're so you're saying you're putting that shit over. I pu- I put it over fruit roll up. Oh yeah, for sure. It's a fruit roll up's not even like it's like it's like A minus. So so Dunkaroos at an A and fruit roll ups at an A minus. That's a hot take, Gavin. No, That's not, a hot bro. take. Fruit, fruit roll up is up there that, too. Because we can't be giving everything like like S. So because it has to be even. Because if it okay, was, what's your favorite snack all time? Go. Uh, what do you call this? Um, what do you call that Scooby the Scooby Doo gummies? Oh yeah, you like those better than than Dunkaroos. Yeah, okay. That that's a personal take. Yeah, I, personal, I I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't put that up. That's still fire, but yeah. like, I don't know about that one. I don't know. <laughs> if we're talking holy grail though, like S tier, holy grail snack. Because there's something I would put OG Dunkaroos up there. Really? Yeah, I would put OG Dunkaroos up there. Oh, like great snack. Damn. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Like A tier, I would say A tier is like combos, like the pretzel <laughs> with the cheese and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, like bear paws. Shit. Yeah, like that. yeah. Bear I put paws, like all A-tier. bear paws is like a B. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree with that. I oh, Pop Tarts, Pop Tarts is like an A tier. That's not S tier, that's like A. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because we can't give everything S tier because there's something we're forgetting that's S tier and that just tops everything. We'll do a, we'll do a tier list one day. We'll do for a sure, tier list sure. one day. Holidays are one of the busiest and most stressful times of the year, but the gift of therapy allowed me to enjoy holidays for the first time in years, thanks to Talkspace. Talkspace offers both therapy and psychiatry from the comfort of my phone, and I can reach out to my provider at any time. It's a little like having a mental health professional in my pocket. Whenever I'm stuck in the office or traveling, Taking care of my own mental health has never been easier. Personally, I believe taking care of your mental health is one of the biggest steps to living the best life possible. Honestly, makes every single activity or task during the day so much easier with a clear head and a clear mindset. I wholeheartedly recommend Talkspace for therapy. You can sign up online and get a personal match with the provider that's right for you, typically within 48 hours. You can text, video, or send voice messages to your licensed therapist, so it's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions from the comfort of your home. Getting started is the most important part. There's no need to wait until something goes wrong in your life to work with a therapist. Of course, Talkspace is also there to help with any specific challenge challenges you might be facing. It's the number one online therapy platform with thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more. Your therapist can help you set and achieve your goals. Talkspace is secure and private using the latest end-to-end bank grade encryption technology to store client information and complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com and make sure to use code jumpers, J-U-M-P-E, 
T-U-M-P-E-R-S to get $100 off your first month and show support for the show. That's jumpers at Talkspace.com. J-U-M-P-E-R-S. You guys can find the link in the description below. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest, which you can see right here. So they plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, One Tree Planted, and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially include the title Lord or Lady on your credit cards, plane tickets, or even dating profiles if you'd like. It makes a great last minute gift. And the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot. And that's within a few minutes of walking distance. So depending on how many of you guys want to be a lord or a lady, we can help build our little jumpers jump kingdom. If you're doing some last minute holiday shopping, this is the perfect gift. You can order a digital certificate and print it out all within five minutes. Established Titles is running a massive holiday sale right now. Plus, if you use code jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, you get an additional 10% off. So go to established titles.com slash jumpers to get your gifts now and help support the channel. The link will be in the description below. I, I said this, I said this because I was out at um at an event with like uh my friend, my friend had like a, a short film. Yeah. And we're hanging out with a bunch of influencers and just like creative people, right? Okay. And one of my friends, he drank a lot. He look, he didn't even drink a lot. He just had like <laughs> one beer. This guy was red though. This guy was mad oh, red, right? Gosh, so everybody's like, why do we Asians get Asian glow? Oh, yeah. And I dropped the theory. I Let me hear it. Because I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it? No. The theory, all Asians have Asian glow. Uh -huh. It's not even a theory. This is just science. Okay. So Asians specifically, we have this chemical in our skin okay. that is more prominent than any other race. Hold on. I'm going to say the exact, the exact uh, chemical. One sec. What is it? And just so you guys know, I'm not like pulling shit out of my ass. I'm going I'm to tell you exactly who I cite this from. Mm -hmm. Boom. This is from Stanford EDU. Okay. Oh, this EDU. is this is real. This is real shit. You, yeah. you guys can use this in your exams, mm -hmm. <laughs> on your essays, whatever you want to use it for. Look, Asian glow mutation may contra- Wait, what? May contribute to Alzheimer's. That's not what I was going to talk <laughs> about. That's kind of fuck. Okay. Anyways, anyways. Nah. But the enzyme in our skin that's uh, prominent in Asians is called ALDH2. Mm -hmm. Now, it's associated with facial redness following alcohol consumption. Okay. As we know, a lot of us, Filipinos, Chinese, Viet, whatever it may be, yeah. we all get red when we drink alcohol, even if it's a little bit. Facts. And that's kind of like an allergic reaction. Mm. Everybody kind of does get this allergic reaction, but it's just so prominent in Asians. Yeah, it's called Asian glow. We literally yeah, have a it's term literally for it. called Asian glow. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because we're the only one that has that like enzyme, bro. Really? That special enzyme. That's weird that it says like <laughs> Alzheimer's though. Like what the fuck? I have a theory that the reason why we get like that like very quickly is because Asians have the best alcohol. And no, we don't. No, no. Do we? No, Asians have the best alcohol in terms of that shit will taste like water and it will kick you in the fucking face. Mm. And that's why we don't recognize it. And we just keep drinking. We could keep drinking. And that's why, because if we gave another, a white person our same alcohol and he drank three sojus. Yeah. What do you think he would become? Pale too. But it's because Asians don't know when to stop. <laughs> and and it's because we just keep going. And and, that, why, and why is that? Because we have the, the most sugar alcohol drinks. Oh, do we? Fam, in Mexico, yo, in Mexico, they don't even have Casamigos. It's straight, like, 50% shit. Like, they'll give oh. it to you. It doesn't taste like water. That's why it's like, you know when to stop. You know when to stop. Asia, uh, oh, Oh, yeah. it's mixed with a lot of flavors. Yeah, That's like, your theory? Exactly. That's why we don't, we have no self-control because that shit makes us have no self-control. Mm. No, but it's, it's also science, too. <clears throat> it's also science. We have, we have Asian glow. Because the, the only other alcohol that really can, uh, that I know that can really, like, kick in whenever mm -hmm. is that Pink Whitney shit for the white girls. <laughs> that shit, that shit is the only, like, that's equivalent to, yeah, to yeah, soju. Yeah. And that always k's the white girls. And they give, gets them pale. Okay, Gavin's an expert on this. This is not really my expertise. I don't drink a lot. But Gavin no, might no. be, he knows what he's talking about. I, I don't drink a lot, but I'm, I'm around people who can't control. Oh, word, know, word, word, word. Yeah. <laughs> but I do have a heavy tolerance. I do have yeah. a, a crazy oh, tolerance. For sure. No, because 
I, the only time I had, to, I, so I had to take care of almost everyone in my friend group, <laughs> and no one has ever taken care of me. Why? Because I have the best self control in the group. Yeah, you do have the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gavin has the best self control. So, so for I'm sure, like, for sure. You can tell at my birthday party when I was like, oh fuck, like, like I stopped. I stopped. You almost, you could have blacked yeah, out. Yeah, I could have blacked you out. Could have blacked I didn't. Out. I saw Dino when Dino, he started going like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I What did I do I said Dino Give me the alcohol You're not touching this Yeah yeah You're not touching this no more <laughs> I think the funniest Bonding experience That I had with Carlos, Josh and thing So my my cousin got So like Blackout Like <laughs> his feet Was dragging Yo, on he was the out He was out Like yeah. a light So me, Carlos and Josh I was at the head Uh Carrying him, yeah. jo- uh, no, no. Josh was at the head carrying him. I was at the middle, Carlos and I was on the side. On the side, <laughs> yeah. the leg. We're trying to put him in the trunk, and and Carlos like, "Yo, fam, put just throw him in." <laughs> Josh like, "What, the, bro? How?" <laughs> He's like two hundred pounds. We're like, "How?" Now, it, it, you know what's bad when you have to do one of the one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's bad, bro. <laughs> One. You have to use it together. You have to oh, like make momentum. <laughs> when you have to count down, fam, yeah. and prep yourself. Nah, that's the worst. That's bro. the worst. Yeah, that uh good good thing bro was good though. Yeah, good thing good. good thing he was fine afterward. <laughs> good. But fam, that's the first time. But you notice, mm. I don't know if you noticed, but even though I'm so I could be so fucked up, I'm always there. Yeah. Oh, I'm always there. That's one thing I, I read about Carlos because you don't need a lot of help. Yeah. Because you're helping the drunk people while you're drunk. <laughs> Yo, I was gone though. Nobody knew I was gone when I was gone. <laughs> oh my God. But I think I think that's a thing of like being really, really, uh, really control your body. Yeah, 100%. Remember I told you like certain meditations you can do even if you're not feeling yourself because you, you can even take this um standpoint whenever you're just not feeling yourself. Yeah. Like, let's say you're a little bit anxious. You can find a way to meditate yourself mm. to kind of ground yourself and be present yeah. and be a little bit more aware mm. and be a little bit more, I guess, like comprehensive. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, look, even if you're kind of groggy, even if you're kind of just like sleeping, bored, or whatever, and you wake up and you just don't feel good. Yeah. There's a way to just snap in. What if I told you that's real? Yeah, I, I need that shit too, to be honest. That's a real thing. Like yeah. you can literally just snap in, but you have to be able to kind of like find what that is. How do you get that? Everyone's wondering like, okay, Carlos gets your point. Like, how do you get that shit? Yeah. yeah. You literally just meditate. Like people, people been trying to tell us mm. meditation and it's true. Yeah. But meditation doesn't have to be home. Oh, <laughs> oh, nah, sometimes meditation is literally just being aware of your body. Mm. It's just being, you know how they say, um, now you're manually breathing. Oh, manually yeah, yeah. breathe. Manually breathe. Or breathe in. Notice how it's cold in. And warm out. Oh. Don't you feel a bit more relaxed? Yeah, yeah. Now you feel your hands, right? Mm-hmm. You notice how it's a little bit tingly? And it gets a little bit warmer and tingly? Yeah. See, when you notice, when you notice these little things, it puts your brain in oh, a way sure. like you can control everything. Because yeah. a lot of the time we kind of move and autopilot mm-hmm. literally we move it autopilot like, i don't even think and i pick up my phone i do shit right yeah, all, every day but if you move in a way like you're so there's a term for it but i don't know exactly i just want to say like comprehensive like you know exactly what's what's what mm. awareness like flow yeah yeah like flow. yeah yeah no nah, but like why do you think they don't preach meditation like that like they don't push meditation out i can tell you right now this yeah. is a theory what they want us to be freaking mules bro yeah, yeah they want us to be told what to do move move here do this blah 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 don't think for yourself mm-hmm. so that we're good workers yeah. the school system was made to make workers they weren't made to make ceos bro mm-hmm. they literally i think they literally made school so that they can put everybody into a workforce yeah, yeah. i think that's why they literally make school so I'll they're lie. good in office jobs but but shout out to you guys who are doing it. You feel me? Because I know a lot of people downplay the nine to five and shit like that. But it's like without a nine to five, a lot of people can't function. Mm-hmm. If we don't have a d- garbage man, oh shit, we 
then well, who's gonna take out the garbage? Of course, like, of course, like, of every, course. Everyone plays a purpose. You feel me? So it's like even though oh maybe you, you you haven't become an entrepreneur and you have or a CEO, you still play a vital role in life. So just yeah, remember that. One hundred percent. Everybody yeah. plays a vital role in life. If there's nobody, if there's nobody doing the other stuff, we can't do. Yeah, and nobody does it, the, the whole system collapses. Exactly. Yeah, and that's it's crazy because. The more people that wake up to it and the more people that are That's like, where it gets no, I'm not trying to be a peasant. I'm trying to be the king. Mm. And the king looks down now and like, wait, how does he know how to do this? Yeah. How are all these people knowing how to do this now? Yeah. Now what happens? Then I guess I'm going to leave it at that, though. Like, yeah. y'all, y'all have to think for yourself for that because I'm not trying to get into no dangerous talks. Uh, feel I me? Know. I know. <laughs> that is true. That's just scary, bro. Do you have any scary stories to tell me? Because yeah. I feel like it's been a minute. I have one that really fucked me up. Mm -hmm. Because so I don't know if you ever heard of the the cursed timeout dolls. Nah, I haven't you heard haven't? of that. Nah. Okay, so these are dolls, right? And they're porched up on like pieces of furniture and they're porched up on like the corner of the, the room. Mm -hmm. And they have their hands like this. So it's like how you're in timeout. Yeah, yeah. So it's supposed to be a very, it's supposed to simulate like a doll in timeout or being punished, right? Yeah. So no one knows who created this doll mm -hmm. so that's the first red flag but they were heavily sold in like flea markets before mm -hmm. and they had some weird like um disturbing signs right next to him so the sign would say oh no my mom my mom doesn't want me can oh, you take shit. me can you take me for 25 cents yeah yeah, yeah. and then like at the flea market you see that sign and then you'd and buy you it. and you would and people would buy it yeah so a lot of people right now i don't know because your grandma or your your grandpa might have these dolls because they were they were sold a lot mm -hmm. during uh in the past so this will happen there's a true story where a girl had this this cursed like a uh, doll yeah and she was sleeping over at, at her grandma's place right mm -hmm. and one night she was sleeping and you know how the the timeout doll is like this? Yeah, yeah. And it's supposed to represent like counting or some shit. Mm -hmm. All she hears in the far distance, a counting up to thirty. So one, two. Oh three. shit! Far away, she's like, "What the fuck is that?" Once thirty hits, yeah. All she she hears, "I'm ready. I'm coming to get you." Nah, chill, chill, chill. Carlos, this is real, fam. And there's <laughs> other stories where. People hear them crying at the corner, right? Yeah. And you're not supposed... These dolls don't have a face because they're meant to be, like, in the corner. Wait, wait. Do they have, like, stitches held holding their yeah, thing? Yeah. They <laughs> so they have shit like this. So once you turn it over, they have no face. That's not their intention to yeah. be turned over. And there's this video on Reddit where... This is real footage mm -hmm. where you can see the doll coming to life. Nah, let me see. Let me see. The girl does this. Listen. Let watch, me see. Watch, watch, watch. There's a full 20 minute video of it all going down. No way. So look, timeout doll. This, That's a doll? Yeah. So that what I'm saying, it's supposed to be a real life one. Timeout doll, right? Okay. So this person on Reddit, she's she's clowning it. Boom. She has it on the corner nice. of her room. Right? So now. And she put a bell on it. Yeah, so that's yeah. how you know it's real, okay? So when she does, when she goes to the wall, let me see if you see anything. You didn't see anything? No, where? I. Oh! It moved. it moved! That's the exact same doll, and in the video, you hear it ringing. Yo. You wanna see it again? Let me see, let me see. Look, look, look. Look at it going in, in real speed. Max! Yo! Come on, bro! <laughs> That that doesn't look like it, it, that's like a like a ghost though. Ah! No, it looks like a real human. And you know, you know when ghosts ghosts love it when they they go into real life human beings. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, they yeah. might. You feel me? Yeah, because if you, that's that's the thing, y'all. Y'all gotta be careful of having like human kind of futuristics on random shit in your home. Yeah. Because that shit freaks me out the most. Because what if it turns alive? Yeah. Anything. Let's say, oh, you know the, the Santa Nino? What's that? The the Jesus, like the little kid Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> that's very No, but that's Jesus Yo. though. That's no, 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 no. But I have a funny story to tell you. <laughs> I have it, a funny it? story to tell you, bro. <laughs> what is it? So th this is my Tito story. Yeah. But anyways, um, at his girlfriend's house, okay. they have this huge Santa Nino. It, it's like, it's tall. I want to say it's like five feet. Yeah. It's not small. It's, it's a huge one, right? Okay. And he has like the curly hair and then like the, the bucket hat or whatever. Not bucket hat. Bucket. <laughs> Sorry, it's like the crown. The crown. The crown. <laughs> has like the crown and then the long like uh, coat, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, So one night he was sleeping, right? Mm -hmm. And he went to go get a glass of water. 
Okay. So he went to go get water, came back to his room. Mm-hmm. And he drank a lot of water. Now, throughout the night, he's like, oh, man, I have to go pee. Yeah. Obviously. He drank so much. So he decided to walk outside. Now, he's headed toward his bedroom door. Okay. And he opens the door. Keep in mind that sense of Nino I was talking about. He keeps it in the room, like, like across the house, man. He keeps the in the room across the house. So this guy opens the door, and what does he see? Right. No, this guy just sees curly hair. <laughs> This guy sees like big curly hair right in front of his face. <laughs> he closes his door. He's like, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo. There's something outside. Wait, and he was saying, he was saying he was so shook. This guy was so scared. He decided like, no, nah, I'm not going pee tonight. <laughs> so he went back to bed, fam. No. And he held in his pee the whole night. No. You know what's crazy? Yeah. When he woke up and opened the door, it was gone. Wait, what? It was gone. Now, what's funny though? Yeah. So the next day, yeah, yeah. Time goes by, and they have his cousins over, uh-huh. or I think the girlfriend's cousins over, and they're just talking, right? Mm-hmm. And it turns out the cousin came home super late after clubbing. No <laughs> way. And I guess where they kept it, where he was sleeping, he didn't like it. <laughs> Because he was freaking him out. So what he did, he put it away and put it right in front of their door. Yeah, a miscommunication. There was, there was a miscommunication. Imagine you open your door and you just see curly hair right in front of your door. That's fucked. I, I, Feb, I don't blame the guy. I would do the same, exact same thing. Bro. Yo. Like, at least at least tell me if you're going to move, like, a strange object. Why in the back? Like, why? And why in front of the door? Right in front of the door. Wait, so did they have a conversation? Did they have a conversation after? Yeah, that was the conversation after. Oh, okay. That was a conversation after. Like, yo, I I was scared of it. I couldn't sleep in that room. (laughs) So he moved it. No, like, like it, th- those stories, like when you're a kid, fam, and you hear some shit, you don't want to go to the bathroom. You'll hold that shit in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever, like, pissed your bed because you were so scared? Okay, not pissed my bed. Did you? <laughs> never, never, never. Okay, not pissed no, my bed. But there, there's this one time, bro, I yeah. I think certain things you watch are, like, do you ever, tell, tell me in the comments right now, yeah. have you guys ever played a video game or watched something too, like, intense, and then when you go to bed, like, all you can think about is that? Oh, yeah, like psychological um, movies? No, not even psychological movies. It's almost like it's, I was playing Halo one time. Oh. And I went to bed after and nonstop, I couldn't sleep and my head was pounding. Yeah. And all that's on my mind is what? Halo. I, I, I forgot what it's called, but there's this certain term for it. Yeah. It's not like a night terror. It's something else. But it just kept replaying and replaying and Holy replaying. I, if we're talking about video games... Everyone can relate to this. If you played Zombies, uh, Black Ops 2, Zombies, COD, Transit. Oh, that's scary, dude. By yourself? Oh, my God. <laughs> the, the, the music, the... You know that mu- the intro music. Oh and when you're on... Yo, yo. Specifically when you're on that bus. Yeah, yeah. By yourself and they're running after you. Yeah, yeah. You can't. Like, <laughs> like there's, there's nothing like... Oh my god, that shit traumatized me. Yeah. Oh my god, just thinking about it, bro. I, I never got scared. You know why I never got scared of zombies? Because of why? Walking Dead. Oh, Walking yeah. Dead made me not scared of zombies because it made it so easy to kill zombies. Really? Like they would take a pencil and like put it through their, their skull. And they're done. And they're done. Damn. <laughs> but that's not realistic, yo. Yeah. The skull is hard, fam. Yeah. Like everything you see in The Walking Dead, that's not realistic at all. Like they're they're using knives and like cutting right through their head. That's impossible. Facts, that facts. shit is impossible. Nah, that shit that shit scared me though. But but what do you call this? Um, the zombies in real life though. Mm-hmm. I, but don't you think the zombie's head would become like softer though? So I guess after a while, if you're talking like if we're talking freaking ten years ten into years, the yeah. walkless, maybe yeah. But but not like a, a pencil through. That's that's just. <laughs> that's <laughs> they would they would know. like you know what I mean. Yeah. No, but zombies, yeah, like, no way zombies yeah. are going to look like that or be that frail. Exactly. No, because I literally said it, and all of us are dead, the zombie movie I said, they literally were stabbing shit and just moving them out the way, and they wouldn't bite. Mm. So I was like, that's why I said, oh, zombies are really easy to beat. But you're like, nah, that, that, they're way harder. Yeah. Yo, I had this crazy, uh, I had this crazy dream. Yeah. Damn, I don't know if I should say it here. Okay, I'm going to say it here, but I'm going to say this. Please don't, please, please, please don't take this idea because I really want to make this into a movie. Yeah. So I had this dream Mm -hmm. and pretty much there's this guy and he woke up. 
Yeah. He has kind of one of those houses with a with a forest backing, kind of like this house. Yeah. So there's forest backing, right? Okay. Now he decides to wake up. He gets his coffee and he goes out to to chop lumber, mm -hmm. and he gets wood. Chop lumber, right? Okay. Because it's Christmas time. Holidays are coming. Yeah. And then his neighbor comes out. It's a little Chinese girl. She says hi, and they just say what's up. Yeah. Now he decides to go because he has a a construction job. Okay. So he hops on the subway and he waits and he's like waiting for his stop. Yeah, for sure. And all of a sudden, there's a commotion and they're like screaming at the back of the subway car. The fuck? So he goes up and checks it out and he sees this man like grabbing onto this woman. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck? So he goes up and then like, pushes him off. He pushes him off and he sees his eyes are like bloodshot red. Oh, no. And he punches him, but he doesn't react. Yeah. Fam is a zombie. So the zombie bites him. Oh. And what happens? Turns? No. He just wakes up, but he wakes up as who? He wakes up as a little Chinese girl. What? Now, this little Chinese girl, she wakes up and like, oh, it's time to get ready for school. Yeah. So she goes up and she eats her cereal. Uh, she makes some tea and she decides to go outside uh -huh. and she sees her neighbor. Oh, hi. And she, she sees him cutting lumber. Oh, nah. Now, this girl, she has to go to school. Where does she go to school? She goes to school downtown. Yeah. Now, she has to take the subway. Now she goes down to the subway and she sees like a huge crowd of people at the station. Yeah. And she's like, what's going on? What's going on? Mm -hmm. And there's a policeman and the policeman is holding his gun out, looking at this other two people. And they're just walking towards them, like trying to attack them. Yeah. And she notices, wait, those people are zombies. Yeah. And they go and kill the policeman, eat him, blah, blah. No. And all of a sudden, a huge herd of people run and trample her. And she dies. But uh. what happens? She wakes up. And who does she wake up as? The man. Oh, what? And now the man wakes up. And he wakes up. Oh, it's my routine. Wait, this feels familiar. Oh, my God. And he wakes up. He makes his coffee. And he goes outside and chops some lumber. He's like, this feels so familiar. And then... The neighbor comes out and she yeah. says, hi. They say, what's up? And he goes, what the heck? I think I know what's going to happen today. Yeah. So he decides to bring like a hunting knife in his toolbox <clears throat> because he's a, he's a construction worker, right? Yeah. I'm bringing a big hunting knife in my toolbox just in case. Okay. So he goes down the subway and the exact same scenario happens. <laughs> What the fuck? Now, I don't want... There, I'm, I have a whole script I have made for this. Wait, like, this is a movie? No, this is not a movie. Oh, this, you're this just is my idea. a story. This is my idea I have for a movie. Oh, shit. Damn. So let me know what you guys think and if I should make that a movie. That's crazy. Post that shit on TikTok if it pulls this <laughs> shit. You might as well make it a movie. Yeah, right? Because the whole time I thought it was already a movie. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not. That, that was just like... That's my dream. That was literally my dream, Gavin. So check that out. So I had a dream of somebody living something. And then when they died, it was actually a dream of somebody else. And then wow, when they died, dreaming. yeah, I'm going to call it Noel and Leon. Okay. So there's Noel and Leon. Think about that. Yeah. Backwards. So Leon backwards is Noel. Oh, Noel nah, backwards. That's wild. You like that? W, I like that. <laughs> no, there, there was one story that I read about. That's kind of, yo, it was crazy. Cause it, it was like a, a real life scenario that looked like a movie. Mm. So have you ever heard of the, the smiling man story? Nah, <laughs> this is. I, I feel like I would have heard about yeah, that this, though. This is fucked. So a guy who lives in like a, a major city, yeah, he always goes on walks at night, mm -hmm. late at night, so no one's around him, right? Mm -hmm. So one night he was like, right, "I'm gonna go super late, like 4 a.m. Yeah, so yeah. So no one's there. I can enjoy my walk, right? Mm -hmm. So he goes into that like forest thing. He always goes into right. Mm -hmm. At the end of the road, he sees like a silhouette of like a man. Yeah. Right. And once the guy turns around and he gets like a, a better vision of his face, mm -hmm. his eyes are wide open and he's like grinning like a cartoon Joker grin. Like oh, shit. he's what smiling super mean? hard. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just looking at it and he's like, okay. And the guy starts doing a dance. What the, why? Fam, why? I don't know. So the guy's just watching him doing a dance. But as he's doing a dance, he's getting, he's walking closer to the guy, like taking steps. Yeah. So the guy's like, what the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. So the, what he does, he, it's smart. He moves up to the other side of the crosswalk mm -hmm. so he can pass. While he's walking the other way, he's just walking. Oh, I'm on the crosswalk. I'm just not going to bother with him. Yeah, yeah. He turns around and he sees the smiling man looking at him. Oh, fuck. Now he, now they're, they're parallel to each other. Yeah. He's on this side. The other guy's on this side. Mm. So he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so what he does, he runs yeah. and he tries to create distance 
like from him. Mm -hmm. And the guy, he starts like on some cartoon shit, tip toe. Like, yo, like he, start, yo. he starts doing the, the animated tiptoe towards him. <laughs> and and when he starts doing this, he says, the guy says, What do you want? And then the guy stops. Yeah. Turns around, starts walking. Like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. He's like, What the fuck? He keeps walking. He the guy the smiling man turns around. Starts fully sprinting at that Yo. guy. The guy starts running to yeah, his house. Yeah, yeah. So they're both balting it. And the story ends is when he finally reaches his house. He turns around. The guy's not there no more. Damn. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Fam, this is a real life story. And this is like dead ass like a movie story. That sounds like a movie, bro. Yeah. That literally sounds like I a movie. I know. Yeah. That sounds kind of like Smile. Like Yeah, exactly. Kind of like Oh, it. what if that, that inspires Smile? Maybe. Maybe, right? Yeah, maybe I just unlocked that shit. <laughs> Jordan. who's the guy that wrote it jordan no that's not jordan peele who is it smile wasn't jordan peele no way that's a mandela effect then is it mandela effect because i swear jordan peele wrote that movie he wrote up he wrote nah he didn't write smile you i mean he wrote us he wrote he wrote nope nope and he wrote smile nah, he, didn't wrote, he didn't write smile nah i swear he wrote smile what the fuck i don't think that's a mandela leave down in the comments if you guys think that's a mandela book i don't think that one maybe is. i just associate really good like horror mental shit with jordan mm -hmm maybe yeah probably yeah. probably all right there's this story i want to tell you uh -huh. before we end it i'm just gonna say this okay, real quick bad, bad, bad. so this is fucks bro what happened now do you ever hear about an influencer that got killed by the cartel by the cartel yeah no so there's this guy his name is juan luis <laughs> juan luis no but bro this is kind of a sad story to be honest mm. this guy he used to make funny content yeah and he would make a lot of drinking content but what's crazy is he, I'm pretty sure he was like 17, mm. but he would do a lot of like crazy stuff. He was kind of six nine ish. Okay, you know what I mean, like Takashi six nine. So he would troll. He would make fun of stuff, and he would just drink a lot, a lot of alcohol on camera. Yeah. Now, in one of his videos where he's like making these funny TikToks, he's like talking shit, blah blah. blah yeah. He says, "F El Muncho." That's what he says. Okay. Not me. I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah. He says that. And El Mencho yeah. is the cartel boss of one of the biggest cartel families Holy in Mexico. Holy smokes. Now, what happens next is crazy, bro. What happened? He ends up going to um another bar just to do his regular antics, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just making content, partying, blah, blah, blah. Fam, two cars pull up, AK-47s, and light up the whole bar. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. There's a video and footage of his body, of the influencer's body. Keep in mind, he's 17 years old. Yeah. Just on the floor like this. Oh. Yeah. Shot up. Just because he said that. Just one because guy. he says that thing. Now, how crazy is it that influence stuff from TikTok, from social media can get you in problems like that? That's crazy. Yeah. Like, how would they even find that out? No, because I guess he, he's super viral in Mexico, bro. Oh. Leave down in the comments because I know there's a longer, longer story. I'm, I'm literally just giving you like the breadcrumbs yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. But bro, like it, it's something I watch, I, I tuned into. I'm like, damn, is that's a crazy, no, that is. that's a crazy story. His life is literally just taken from saying one thing in a video. See that? I mean, shit, that's how Takashi could have ended up if he wasn't if he wasn't careful yeah like takashi is if you realize like he's super careful like he moves super tactical like mm -hmm. he'll move houses if you take a picture of his house he'll move a house again like you never know where he yeah is. that's the thing see he he did it smart because he's super um he's super aware he's very yeah. aware he's street smart yeah for sure you don't just like go say all of this like bullshit and then offensive stuff and not take precaution. Like, you yeah. gotta take precaution. Or at least just make sure you're not offending the wrong people. 100%. This guy literally straight up said and knew the name of the cartel boss. That's... And and his content was drinking, right? So, you're drunk and you say stupid shit. I so. know. That's the thing, yo. And I feel like... I feel like that's enough. Like, we should stop... We should stop promoting drug abuse, right. alcohol abuse, that substance shit. abuse in general. And thinking it's so fun and funny. Because at the same time, like, sure, we're having a great time. There's positive memories along with it. Mm -hmm. There's some things we should just, you know, take a step back and look at, like, what's the whole picture. Yeah. Like, maybe sometimes some people go into, like, binge drinking because they're not good with themselves. Alive. 
Like to keep that in mind sometimes. Like I'm not saying it's not it's not good to drink. Like enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, but just have that in the back of your head. Make sure every everybody's safe. Make sure everybody's good, and don't just promote like yeah. stupid stuff sometimes. You know, I know that shit is especially cool, yeah, especially when it's when it's someone young. Yeah. That kid was 17 years old, and they were feeding him alcohol, feeding him alcohol. 17 years old. Sure, in Mexico, like people I drink was just young. Gonna say, yeah, yeah man's drink young, especially in the Philippines too. Yeah. Like, we can relate, but like. Man, it's yeah. just sad to see something like that. Oh, because sure. he could have had a whole career ahead of him. You know I me? Mean? I know. That's why you just drink tea, man. Don't drink. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's good once in a while, like to celebrate and shit. Like, but don't go down that rabbit hole, bro. Because I seen like there's a uh, dramatize dramatizations on TikTok, mm -hmm. and there's this one guy who acts out like how it would be and how he can't go a day without alcohol. So in his coffee, I mean, he would have his cup right here. Yeah. And then in the paper towel roll, he would hide alcohol oh. in it. And he would be like, oh, uh, wife, can you go get something in the garage? I'm just going to, I'm just going to clean up this right here. And then, yeah. and then he would put the alcohol in it. Like, like some people, like it's sometimes it's that crazy for people. Mm -hmm. Like even that vape shit, I hate that vape shit because it's like, bro, it's like, it really does nothing for you. Mm -hmm. except make you addicted and bro we have just breathe normal air dog like or or, or, just, <laughs> just, or just, said read normal or air. just just get just get a pod with no nicotine in. like i know that shit's addicting but i'm telling you like later on you're gonna regret that shit yeah at the end of the day y'all i just want you i just want to spread that message of listen listen you guys don't need anything to make you more happier facts like you guys can find happiness with just you facts. like you don't need to rely on any substance even any person to be happy. Yeah. Just keep that shit in mind. And we'll end it on that on a good note, yo. Have fun. <laughs> Y'all have a great time. Yes, sir. Still drink. Like, still have fun. Go party. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, but Just control. be responsible. Always have self-control. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Make sure to listen to our episodes on Spotify, Apple, all those streaming services. Yeah. Anytime you guys are on the go, you guys can still listen to us. Just go go on your, your apps, yo. You can find us on all streaming platforms, and you can listen to the Jumper Jump Podcast on the way to work, on the way to school, anywhere you guys want. Exactly. All right. Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.